Hi guys. I feel massive. So hi, how you doing? Just thought I'll do a quick um, pregnancy update. If y'all can already see my face is getting a bit more rounder. I don't have that face that I used to, but I I can feel that I have put on a bit more weight. Even though Nyasha keeps telling me that actually I'm okay and I don't look that different. I feel like my face is more round. I feel like it's fuller. Um yeah, today I am officially six months, woohoo, which is twenty-four weeks today. Which means I can't believe we'll be having it a child in three months. Like that's scary. Like I can't imagine looking after another person. I feel like in my head it's just like we've got a lot of time so i don't know i'm kind of like ah i don't know it's kind of starting to sink in now that i'm actually having a baby and i don't really know i don't know what to expect and i'm just like oh my gosh like there's gonna be a whole new person here so i'm a bit like oh my gosh so yeah um yeah just do a quick update today i was 24 weeks and went to the midwife who you know did like a quick urine test and did a few other bits and bobs like check the baby's heartbeat a uh, stubborn little baby here check the heartbeat and he decided to move like straight away and then the midwife couldn't actually find his heartbeat and then oh the baby's heartbeat and then had to um move kept moving the monitor to find where the baby had moved to anyway um, yeah, so far I am I'm feeling a lot more exhausted. I'm starting to really feel my body change So things like bending down. I'm starting to feel like oh, it's a bit more of an effort Things like getting out of bed I'm like oh I have to like roll on my side first and get up and I know I'm really not that big and it's not that evident Well, it might look now, but like in real life It doesn't really look that big like if I wear a certain clothes You can't even tell I'm pregnant and I'm like six months so like i'm starting to feel little struggles like even getting out my car i'm like jays like i feel not like i'm completely like oh my gosh i can't get up but i feel like the weight and i feel the struggle to actually get out of bed um but um good thing is my nausea is going down so i'm not having to chew gum as much because gum has been like my savior to help me forget about nausea and so that's been good i haven't had to chew gum as much because before my jaws were hurting me and i started to think oh i don't know if this is this is what i'm supposed to be doing i don't even know if chewing gum is good for you or not but i was just chewing it because i was like i need something to battle my nausea and that seemed to help so that's what i was going to do and i just take care um yeah what other updates apart from that being okay i'm just more tired struggle a bit more nausea's dying out which is nice and yeah looking forward to the rest rest of it i'm starting to embrace it a bit more now and i think that's because i'm telling people now and they're like oh my gosh so i feel like in my head it's become more real i'm like ah, oh, yeah so that's scary i'm starting to try and like i think i booked antenatal classes now there's any um on um antenatal classes i'm on a waiting list for hypnotherapy birth which i heard is really good it teaches you about breathing so i really hope i'm able to get on that course because i'm on the waiting list that would be great for me to i feel like i need all the information i can possibly need because all this time i haven't done anything and i'm just like okay i think i need to be more proactive and and stuff yeah so that's my update hope you enjoyed it if you've got any comments let me know so yeah i'm more out of breath and i'm not as hungry but i like to eat because i like the taste of food so i'm always overeating let me know if you're out there and you're overeating because i'm constantly overeating because food just tastes good but then the struggle afterwards is a real because i feel like my belly is about to I'm just like I can't breathe oh my gosh and yeah another update is I nearly fainted it was so embarrassing so we're at this hotel I finished eating a massive meal over eight as I usually do 
I'm going up the stairs, started getting jelly legs, started like feeling lightheaded and I think I was about to faint so I couldn't actually climb the stairs anymore so I sat down and then eventually I laid down on the stairs. I just had no energy whatsoever and people are walking past which was so embarrassing. And this is Nyasha. Oh yeah, and everyone's like, she okay? Yeah, 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 she's fine. She's just pregnant and she's had a lot to eat which is like, in my head I was like, what? But I just didn't even have the energy to like be like what do you mean i'm actually feeling like headed like i'm gonna drop and so a lady walked past and was like i lift her legs up and after like a couple of minutes of that i felt absolutely fine had some water and i was like good to go but i was just so embarrassed that it had to happen on the stairs where everyone had finished having their breakfast and was walking past me and was like what's wrong with her is she okay and then the next day all the staff was like oh are you okay are you okay and i'm like you were, you all saw this you own you all know this you all know i was on the stairs it's so embarrassing i'm so embarrassed <laughs> that everyone knew that i like nearly passed out on the stairs and my eyes were closed so i only heard one voice and saw one person but the fact that everyone the next day was like are you okay yeah blah blah she's like so embarrassing but i guess i couldn't help it but still it was embarrassing so yeah that's another thing so let me know if there's people out there who frequently faint i haven't fainted yet but on two occasions i've nearly fainted and it's not a nice feeling i was actually quite scared this last time because i felt like i couldn't control anything but um yeah my blood pressure is fine so i really don't know what's causing it and um, some of the midwives might think that maybe because i stood up too early and also if there's any clothes with any shops with nice maternity wear please let me know because the girl's struggling out here and i'm looking at all these clothes that i love and i'm like oh yeah i can't wear it because i have a bump and i don't have a waistline anymore so yeah <laughs> please send me some links and recommend um something to me please because i need to survive out here but i hope you've enjoyed this video if you like it then make sure you like make sure you comment make sure you subscribe and share it to all your friends and families so they can help me out too in this journey that i have no clue what i'm doing so yeah see you guys later love you all Bye.